Hey everyone, I'm back today with another ASMR mukbang eating show. And today I have Lego my Ego. <laughs> I have Ego waffles. These are uh, thick and fluffy. I made myself three. Put butter on top and maple syrup. <laughs> I haven't had waffles in so long. I was craving these for so long. Mmm. Oh my god, these are so good. Yummy. Mmm. Oh my god, you guys, these are delicious. Mmm. Haven't had these in so long. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to buy me them all the time. Mmm. <laughs> mm -mm. You guys know which waffles I really like a lot too. We don't have those here in Miami, but when we travel up north, we find them there everywhere. Are the waffles from Waffle House? Those are really good. Mmm. Look at that. <laughs> Yummy. So, I wanted to talk to you guys. About an experience. <laughs> that, I want to say so much that I had the experience myself, but due to the fact that I was getting into a lot of stuff that had to do with the occult and, and shit like that, it affected another person. So, when I was married to my first husband, many, many years ago, I was really young like in my early 20s um that was before i was ever christian i used to like mess a lot with i started getting into like new age stuff and things like that And I used to like, I used to search stuff online that had to do with new age stuff and, and whatnot. So, there was a store I used to go to, man, I forgot what the store was called. I don't even think that store is around anymore anyway. But I used to go there a lot. They had books on like new age stuff, like I said. Stuff on spells. And not so much curses, because I never cursed anyone. I don't do that stuff. But more like spells for good luck. You know, the kind of spells that if you want to put on someone, if you want them to fall in love with you, or. Um, or if you want good luck, you want money, you want love, you want kids, whatever, you know? There's a spell for everything. <laughs> so. Mm. So, yeah, I used to get into all that stuff and everything. And I used to buy books and stones. I used to put posters all up in my room, like weird-ass posters, like new, new era stuff. 
and one time I bought a tape. <laughs> yeah, back in those days, all the audio was in tape. Um, I bought a tape that taught you how to like, I forgot what that's called, like transcendence. Tra transcendent transcendental I forgot how you say that crap man meditation or something where it's almost as if like you leave your body you're like your spirit leaves your body and enters into like another dimension I don't know man I was getting into some pretty weird crap like <laughs> I started listening to that stuff and it gave me a creepy feeling because it was telling you to like lay down, relax, clear your mind, blah, blah, blah. But as I was listening to it, I started to get like a really creepy feeling. So I stopped the tape. I got up. I stopped the tape. I was like, hell no, I ain't doing this shit, you know? I was creeped out. I was like, what if my spirit leaves my body or something? Anyway, so yeah. That was the era when I was into like that stuff really, really, really deep. Like really deep. I wasn't, I wasn't a Christian. I would hardly read the Bible and I did not know that you shouldn't mess with that stuff. So my cousin back then, she was a Christian. And she came over one day to help me fix my computer because something was up with my computer. And she needed like a disc that I had left at my mom's house and that day I was home alone that day like my back then husband wasn't home he was working I guess or something and it was just me and my cousin so I went to my mom's house I'll, I'll be like oh don't worry I'll be right back I'm, I have it in my mom's house I have the disc in my mom's house I'll go really quick to get it and I'll come back well I left her alone in my house let me tell you something when I came back to my house she was like in this panic mode panic mode like she didn't want to be there as soon as I got there she's like look I gotta go um I'm like what do you mean you gotta go I just got here like you know, you say you're going to help me. So she put the disc in really quick for me. And she's like, look, this is what you got to do. Press this, do that, da, da, da. I got to go. I'm like, okay, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, that's weird. You know, because I thought she wanted to stick around and spend more time with me. Like, when she got there, she didn't look. She didn't have any intention in leaving quick. Like, she didn't tell me it has to be, like, a quick thing. As a matter of fact, I think she wanted to, like, stick around and chill. Even after she helped me fix the computer or whatever. And so. Look at all that butter. <laughs> I always overdo it with butter. Um, yeah, so she just left. She like hauled ass out of my house. Like, you could tell she did not want to be there. But I was like, okay, that's weird. Alright guys. She just made up some bullshit story and said she had to go. Well, anyway. The point is that a few days later, I, I speak to my mom on the phone. And she's like, You want to know why your cousin left like that in a rush and she didn't want to be in your house? I was like, yeah, why? I thought that was weird. She said, because she said that when you left her alone in the house and you came over to my house to pick up the disc. She said when she was sitting there by the computer, like checking some stuff out. She felt like somebody came behind her and grabbed her by the neck really hard and wouldn't let her go. And she felt like she was choking and she couldn't breathe. I'm like, what? I'm like, mom, come on, please. Really? And she was like, yeah. So I don't know what the hell kind of stuff it is that you're messing over there in your house with. But you better stop that. Because you don't know what you're bringing into your house. You're probably bringing demons into your house and you don't know it. Oh my gosh. I was completely freaked out. Like, I think after that experience that my cousin had, um, 
I never like I got out of all that new era crap and <laughs> I threw away all the stuff that like I had been messing with and everything and I just got rid of it and then after that like I, eventually I converted to Christianity I read the Bible and I educated myself more about that stuff and I was like mm -mm, that stuff I don't ever in my life want to mess with like I literally had an ex-boyfriend that every time I would come near him he would be terrified because I was even wearing like this um some type of red necklace around my around my neck with like a ring hanging from it and I forgot what it was that I was doing that for but like I came around him and he was creeped out like I could tell he didn't want to be near me like he said goodbye real fast <laughs> So I noticed that, yeah, it was really creepy and a lot of weird stuff started happening and I just stopped messing with that stuff. But yeah, that was really creepy. And like when I had a chance to sit one-on-one -on -one and talk to my cousin about her experience, she was really terrified. She was like, that's the reason why I left because she said it was awful. Like, And she was really scared because she was there alone by herself. And like she said that she felt like someone was choking her you know like we're, we're trying to strangle her and she couldn't breathe and she just like as soon as I got there she got the hell out of there like she was panicking panic mode I tell you that's crazy so yeah you guys never again will I ever mess with that stuff that's for sure <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed this little breakfast mukbang with my waffles and my creepy story time and I'll see you guys in my next video all right guys bye